Hi, I'm Arturo Nunez. I'm a technical evangelist for Unity. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can edit and modify your game using Unity 2018 and Visual Studio 2017. Now, you see that I'm using my PC here, but if you're using Mac, the steps are going to be exactly the same. If you have any help, uh, if you need any help uh, installing the software, please go to the previous video. So Unity is a creation engine. It allows you to create 2D or 3D games, AR or VR applications. In this case, we're going to be creating a 2D game using Unity's free 2D game kit. If you want to grab the game, the 2D game kit, go to the Unity Asset Store or grab it inside the Unity Editor. Once you have it downloaded into your machine, you can start playing around with it. The 2D Game Kit is a complete game kit that you can use to start learning Unity and modify it to fit the gameplay needs you want for your game. In this case, I'm using the Verba Team uh, game, 2D Game Kit, which contains Ellen on her quest on finding the keys on this strange planet. In Unity, we have multiple windows. I'm going to quickly explain a couple of them, uh, the ones that we'll be using during this video. So we have the game window. The game window is the view of the player that is going to pl uh, play your game. We also have the scene window that allows you to modify how your scene and level looks like. You can rotate objects, translate uh, objects, scale the objects, etc. The hierarchy window shows you a list of items that you can see on the scene window. We also have the project window. Here you will add all your assets, either textures, sounds, videos, scripts, etc. And also on the inspector window, which is one of the windows that we will be using a lot, we will be adding components and scripts to your objects. So this is how you add the behavior to those objects. So I want to add a checkpoint uh, in my game. So I want to add some places where once Helen reaches out them, uh, we save the progress and we give some indication to the player, player that something was saved. For that, I'm going to use this door asset. So this is going to be my checkpoint. When Helen reaches the door, which is the checkpoint, I will trigger some code that will save and will notify the user that the checkpoint was reached. For this, I need to use Unity's built-in physics. So my checkpoint already has uh, a couple of components uh, for, for physics. One is the Box Collider 2D, which I also marked as trigger. So I want the collider to trigger an event once Ellen collides with it. And I also added this light component. So as soon as Ellen collides with this object, I want to give the visual cue to my player. So this is what I will be doing. For that, I need a C -sharp script. So I'm going to create a C -sharp script within Unity by going to the project window, right click, create, and C -sharp script. I'm going to name this script checkpoint. I'm going to assign the checkpoint to my door. I simply select the door and drag and drop my checkpoint, checkpoint script into it. You can see here on the inspector window that the checkpoint script is already applied to my door. I will double click on my checkpoint script and Visual Studio will be launched. So as you can see here, uh, built in, uh, Mono behavior script comes with a couple of Unity messages. These messages are called once the Unity engine calls them onto any mono behavior that is active on the scene. I'm not interested in the start and update methods now, so I will remove them. I I'm interested in the on trigger enter to the message. Uh, I could go to the internet and find how to how the, the signature for this method is. However, if I'm using, using Visual Studio, I can simply hold Control, Shift, and M. And a prompt will appear showing me the possible messages that I can implement in my uh, mono behavior script. So in this case, I'm interested in the on trigger enter to the option. So I simply check that box. Click OK. And Visual Studio has provided me the signature of the method that I can start using right away. 
Now I need to tell my object that once the element triggers this event, I want to activate the light. So I need to start typing code. So I want to select the game object. And as you can see, Visual Studio built-in intelligence and prediction is already kicking off. So I want to do game object, get component. I want to get the component called light. And I want to enable that component. As you can see, Visual Studio is taking all the load, load off of me. OK, so now I have the code. If I go back to Unity, it will recompile. You can see in the bottom right part of the, your, your screen. I will click Play. And as soon as Ellen triggered that collision, my light gets turned on. So this is what I want. So as you can see, my game is made out of a lot of assets. Some of them are not even uh, scripts. I can use Visual Studio's Project Explorer specifically for Unity files uh, by going to View, Unity Project Explorer. And here, I will be just seeing the scripts that are on my project. This is super useful, so I don't get distracted but by non-script assets. Um, in this case, here's my checkpoint, which is already open. So that's it. In this video, we'll learn how to modify your game using Unity and Visual Studio. If you want to know more and further your Unity and Visual Studio skills, go to the video below. And if you want to know how to debug your games, uh, trying to fix bugs, uh, go to the next video.